welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is London and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, August 9th of 2016. I've picked three cards from the Guardian Angel Tarot cards. I've had these cards for a little over a year, maybe even a year and a half. And I've never used these cards, so we're going to be using them in the daily reading for today. I have an Angel Tarot card to give us an overall feel of the energies for this upcoming Tuesday. And I have a Healing Angel card that I'm going to pull from this deck at the end of the reading to give us guidance from your angels. And this deck is by Tony Carmine Serlano. Serlano. So we're going to get started. The first card that we have from the Guardian Angel Tarot is the Three of Abundance card. The Three of Abundance card. And the Three of Abundance is the Three of Pentacles in normal rider way. It shows this angel who's playing the harp. As you can see, she's doing something that she loves, a talent that she has that she loves. And she really has these onlookers or these viewers really just um, enjoying what she's able to give um, this music that she's playing. They're really enjoying it. And it says the three of pinnacles. It says your passion will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. And that's an amazing card to start off the energy with. It's letting us know that we're doing the things that we love, that Three of Pentacles is all about um, a labor of love, something that you don't mind doing, but you put a lot of work into. So that's an amazing card to start out, um, start out the energies with. The next card that we have from the Guardian Angel Tarot is the Eight of Action, which is the Eight of Wands in normal Rider way. And it shows this presenter who's really presenting something. It shows this woman who's balancing herself on this flying beetle, it looks like. There's butterflies going on. There's a tightrope. There's just a lot going on in this card. And that's traditionally what the Eight of Wands means. It means a, a lot of stuff going on. Things moving quickly. And it says there's so much going on right now that it may be that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you if you're asked to travel and to take a flight, then do so with confidence. So it's letting us know with this reading that when we start the energies for Tuesday may be a little bit busy. There may be a lot going on. Maybe you're finishing some things that um, some projects that you love doing, but it's letting you know that um, the energy may is going to move fast. I get a, I get a feeling of the energy moving quite quickly on this Tuesday. The last card that we have from the Guardian Angel Tarot is the Inner Strength card, which is the Strength card in Normal Tarot. And it shows this um, this child who is really petting this cat that looks a little bit ferocious, <laughs> as you can see. And it says, in a kitten type of way anyway, it says, Inner Strength, you have great courage and kindness that you may not realize how strong and powerful you are. But there's no problem that you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions, even if the right answer is to tell someone no. Amazing. Okay. So this reading is letting us know that we may have a lot on our plates on Tuesday. It's letting us know that we have the strength to deal with it. And even if some minor dramas come up, that we have the strength to deal with it. It's letting you know that um, to focus on the things that you love to do more than anything. Even if um, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in your world, try to take it one Try to take it step by step. Make a list of things that you need to get done and get done what you can. If you can't get done certain stuff, then, you know, there's always tomorrow. Push it off into tomorrow. But it's letting you know that Tuesday's energies are moving very quickly. There's going to be a lot of things to do, but you have the strength to 
take it all on. The overall theme that we have for this upcoming Tuesday is perfect. It's the Ten of Fire, which is the Ten of Wands. And it describes this card as too much work, except help from others, life is out of balance, and stress-related health concerns. And this card is all about working too hard and doing too many things and having too many priorities on your list. And that's what this reading is talking about. It's talking about a lot of things going on on Tuesday. But it's telling you to accept help from others. You know, like I said, make a list. Whatever you can get done, do it. And then if you can't get some other things done, try to um, give it to other people. Ask for help. If someone can help you um, take care of the things that you need to take care of, allow them to do so. So it can take a lot of the stress off of you. Okay. So we're going to pull a healing angel card. And we're going to ask for spirit guidance. And I'm going to... Let's see if I can get this in the frame. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, we're just going to take these down. And I'm going to pull an angel card, a spirit guidance card. And I'm going to ask all angels and spirit guides to guide my hands to picking the most accurate and resonate in the card that can resonate with all of the viewers who are watching this video. Guy, my hands are the most accurate card. And this says, Precious Give. It says, Friendship and family and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight on what is most important. And it's just letting you know that, you know, f spending time with your friends and family and lo um, loved ones are your most precious gifts for today. So it's letting you know if you can't get things done today, um, really try to focus on your relationships with others is is what I'm getting from this card. It's letting you know that, you know, there's always going to be tomorrow to get all of your duties done or all of the things that you ha may have on your list to get done. There's always tomorrow and you can push that off for tomorrow. But it's telling you not to overlook your relationships with your family and your friends and to really be be with them on this day. All right, guys, or make time for them on this day. <laughs> Even if you have a lot going on, try to make time for your um, your family members and the people that you love. All right, guys, these are the messages that I have for this upcoming Tuesday. Um, and I will be back with you again for tomorrow's rating. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.